Hey guys, what's going on? It's Max here, and today I'm bringing you guys my first ever Black Ops 2 video. So today I'm bringing you guys a 59 kill and 12 death gameplay, playing some regular domination on the map Hijack. Now in this gameplay, I'm using the MP7 with uh, fast mags and foregrip, I believe. Now uh, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my first impressions and my overall review of Black Ops 2, just from playing it recently. I actually got it at midnight release. I was supposed to get it early, but the U.S. Postal Service messed up and didn't deliver it. So I ended up having to go to the midnight release, and I stayed up all night playing it. Played for, uh, I think I have like two hours logged on, and I'm like level 25, something like that. And uh, I just thought I would talk to you guys about what I thought about it, and I also want to hear what you guys think about this game, because I've been hearing a lot of different opinions on Twitter, and uh, a lot of people have just been talking about it a lot. So, uh, one thing I want to say is that I definitely have mixed opinions of this. Like, at some times when I was playing it, I was really enjoying it and I was doing really well. And then, at some point, I was like, I was dying within a millisecond and I could not do anything to stop it. And uh, I was just not enjoying it. I couldn't play it. And uh, I just wasn't enjoying it then. And uh, that's what a lot of people are experiencing is the the lag is pretty bad. The hit detection is weird. I don't know what's up with it, but uh, it, it's weird. At some points, I die in like a millisecond. Other times, I can only kill people. And like they, they take like 10 of my bullets. It's so weird. I don't understand it. Also, another thing that's really weird about this is that uh, the kill streaks are very, very high. And they're very hard to get. And uh, the th thing that I think that makes these things do is they make people camp more. There's been a ton of camping. Like, you know, at Call of Duty, everyone's a bad player. Most people are bad players in Call of Duty. So a lot of people camp. And uh, in just previous Call of Duties, everyone camps. But this game, it just seems like the maps are built for these campers. And uh, they just try and camp for these long kill streaks. Because these, these kill streaks are huge. You got to get like 30 kills maybe in order to get uh, a swarm or whatever. 30 kills and maybe a couple caps. It's ridiculous. And I think all these guys are trying to camp for these high kill streaks and get these. Like the, the kill streaks are really powerful. Don't get me wrong. So I guess it kind of makes sense to make them that high. But maybe if you dumbed them down a little bit in power and you made them less, uh, less kills and less points to get, I think that would be better because it would reduce the camping. I don't like the maps in this game, to be honest. Uh, I haven't played on all of them. I don't know why. Like the the matchmaking is weird. It put me into like the same map multiple times. I don't get it. But uh, I haven't played on some maps. But most of the maps I played on, I don't really like. One map I like particularly is uh, Hijack. This is the map that I actually like. I do really well on it. And uh, you guys will see in this gameplay. Uh, I'm using the Lightning Strike. Uh, no, sorry. I think I'm using the UAV Lightning Strike and the, um, what is that thing? The Lodestar. The Lodestar is sick. Uh, I think that is, the Lodestar is really good. It's like the Reaper on steroids from MW3. Shoots really fast. You guys will see how, how much I wreck these guys with it. I get a bunch of kills with it. And the Lightning Strike is also very good. I will be giving you guys a bunch more tips in my future videos in the upcoming days. Uh, just because uh, I'm actually really tired right now. I've been up for like 36 hours. I haven't uh, slept. I didn't sleep during the midnight release. And I just pulled an all-nighter. So I'm really tired right now. I'm probably going to go to bed after this. But uh, I just thought you guys would enjoy uh, watching this gameplay. I think it's pretty impressive. Also, another thing is that the snipers are very powerful. I don't understand it. Uh, they're very good. I haven't actually given getting a chance to actually try them out. But I've gotten killed by them and gotten one shot killed all the time by them. And it was ridiculous. So they're very powerful. Also, the knifing is the same, which I was so confused by. Because I thought they were going to change it. I don't know. I guess I was the only one who thought that. But uh, I could have sworn someone said something about uh, knifing changing and stuff like that. Uh, also, theater mode, unfortunately, is very bad in this game. It barely saves any of your, uh, your games. And I don't like that because, you know, uh, my... HDPVR, there's something wrong with my HDP, HDPVR, uh, it doesn't like always record it, like freezes when I try and record it, sometimes I hate it, so I have to record it out of theater, and a lot of the times theater mode doesn't save your game, so that's unfortunate, uh, so that's pretty much it guys, also as you can see in the gameplay, the, uh, this is domination, and they split domination into two rounds now, 
There's two five-minute rounds. But also, uh, instead, the game can only last 10 minutes long, or it goes up to 200 points. So I don't really like that. It's going to be a lot harder to get really good gameplays. But I'm definitely going to try and get good gameplays. And hopefully, this game will improve and it will grow on me, and I will continue to enjoy it. And hopefully, I can play it for a long time and keep uploading for you guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you could leave a like for this video, I'd really appreciate that. And I'm signing out. Peace.